Today, we try to defend ourselves by trying to detect, not only detect, detect what we know, which means we let in everything that we don't know that might be malware. So today's antivirus products unfortunately work with what is known as a detection technology, which means it's got a photo fit of a malware. Imagine you're a policeman, you have a photo fit of a murderer, you're looking for, oh my, you, you look like that person, so I'll grab you in. And that's how it works. So a new murderer where no one has seen you know, his face or her face will go unnoticed because you don't know how to search for him. You don't know how it looks like. And that's what happens with the AV industry. A new malware comes, causes the damage. Antivirus products don't know that that exists. And until they do, they have no means. They have no means to be able to uh, catch that malware and that is the weakness of the current system you cannot have your first line of defense as detection only you have to prevent it our PC world is about default allow everything waltz in please come on in and then let me check if you're good or not and guess what I only can recognize some of you I cannot recognize all of the bad guys and the bad guys today what do they do? Let's say I'm a virus author. Do you know what I do? It's the first thing. I build my virus, my beautiful little creature, and then I test it to make sure that none of the AV products catch it. Only then do I release it. So all these new viruses are not, majority of them are not caught or detected by antivirus products. That's why we have this Cache 22, this vicious circle of new malware going in, left, right, and center, and then people getting, you know, infected, whole slew of new criminals. And then we have the EV companies playing the chase, you know, playing the catch up with uh, the malware providers. And the result is end users have no protection. That is the problem. Protection does not exist today. With detection only mechanisms, you cannot provide protection. So how do you provide protection? Protection has to be three layers. Prevention, detection, cure. Let's take your house as an example. You have a house, right? You have a door. What does that door do? It stops people from coming in. It's prevention. Yeah, but a door can be broken. Of course it can. That's why you have a burglar alarm. So that if the door is broken, the burglar alarm will alarm, right? Okay, yeah, but you know, people can come and steal things and go. Of course they can. And that's why you have insurance. That's a cure aspect of it. Today, if your computer was a house, imagine your computer only has a burglar alarm, no door, no insurance. And you know what? That burglar alarm only recognizes the burglars that it has in its database. A new burglar comes in, Oh, I don't know you. Please come in. I will not raise the alarm. That is the problem today. We need to go to layered security architecture of prevention as your first line of defense. Detection if prevention fails and cure if both fails. There is no single bullet that will defeat malware. Anyone who says get this, you're all protected, detection, you're all protected, or just prevention, you're prote protected, or just cure, you're protected, is lying to you. You have to deploy a layered architecture. You have to have prevention, detection, and cure in your security architecture for it to be a decent enough protection. And you know what? Even then, there is no 100% security. 100% security does not exist, and that is the bottom line. But prevention has to be your first line of defense. You've just heard the thoughts of Meli Abdul Hayolu. If Meli has provoked you on issues like security and trust on the internet, authentication, and malware prevention, please visit www.meli.com for more. <laughs>